Welcome back to QFITS View. In this video, we'll have a look at some of the spectrum controls. I'll load an example spectrum. We can control the axis range by entering either the pixel or wavelength range. As an example, I'm entering the pixel range 100 to 2500. To reset, we can right click and select zoom out. Here's an example of setting the wavelength range, say from 4500 to 5500. We can also manually select the range by clicking and dragging with the left mouse button. As you can see, there's that grayed area. And again, you can reset by zoom out. We can also set the value range manually. For instance, I'm going to set it from 0 to 1 e to the minus 14. Press enter. And again, reset by zooming out. We can also remove parts of the spectrum, say if there's anomalous values like a cosmic ray. I've created here an example spectrum. As you can see, there's some weird values. What you can do is click and drag over the region so we can enlarge it to see what's going on. And we see these bad values. Place the mouse over the first of the pixels that are bad. Press and hold the B key and then move over the region that is bad. As you can see, there's this gray area. You release. You can see that that area has been removed. Uh, we can do the same here with these two. All you need to do is press the B key. And again, for this, press the B key. And we can have a look at the region that was uh, bad. Um, As you can see, the values on this region, which is the part that we blanked out, have now been set to inf value, which is one on zero. Pressing the right mouse button accesses several other features. I'm going to show an enlarged area of the spectrum. You change the plot style from histogram to lines as you prefer. The default is histogram. And you will right click, plot style, lines. The spectrum can be saved as an ASCII text file by right clicking and doing save spectrum as ASCII. And then I'm going to use spectrum example 3.text. And then I am going to open up this data to show you what it looks like. As you can see, we have the wavelength and the value of the spectrum. You can also save it as a FITS file, save spectrum as FITS in this case, which is the same as save as FITS in the normal file menu. As a final feature for Spectra, you can copy it with Command C and paste into a text file or spreadsheet, say Excel. Here I just edit copy or Command C and I swap to Excel and then I just use the paste function. 
and you can see the wavelength and spectral values here. That's all for this video. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel.